Okay, this video is going to show you how to disconnect the battery on your Range Rover Sport L494. So that's the one with the rear lights, this sort of shape that go down the wing. There you go. Right. So, um, why do you need to disconnect your battery? Sometimes, if you're having some weird problems with ECUs, disconnecting the battery and reconnecting it is actually not a bad shout. If you've got some weird stuff happening with your central lock-in, turn it off, turn it on again, just like the old computer IT fix. Um... We're going to do a steering wheel change in your steering wheel and anything to do with airbags, you're better off disconnecting the battery so the car's unaware that you're fiddling with anything and it's a lot safer. So numerous reasons you might want to change your battery, but this isn't to change it, it's just to disconnect it. Right, what are you going to need? 10 millimeter socket or spanner and a plastic lid. Why do we need a plastic lid? All will be revealed. Right, so let's have a go. So we've got a deluxe mat, we have to get that out. Um, right, and then this rear lifts up now. You could hang this up out the way. I'm never quite sure where this hook is supposed to go. The best option I've got is putting it up on the, the side there under the spoiler. Uh, or what we're gonna do, just to make the video a bit easier, is pull it out. So if you pull it towards you, it looks like one of our clips is broken on the back here. It, it looks like it should have two two clips like that but we've got one ominously missing there so right we will dispense with then right then we're going to take the spare wheel out then we'll just turn this little support it's a bit tight this one i don't know why and then remove this nice little felt pad which i guess is more for sound than anything else and then we go we've got our space saver spare wheel then now you have to give a bit of a tug to get this out. Um, let me try and do it. One, I'm going to try and do it from the back. It's a bit tricky, but well, there you go. Right, spare wheel out. Let me grab my tools. Right, what have we got in here? We've got the, right, let's, I'm not sure where this hook, where these hooks are supposed to go. If anyone knows, let me know. Right, then. And then we lift out this little ring there. We can go back there. Right, and then we're in here. So there's a little carpety flap here that moves up. And you can see the, you got enough light there, George? You've got the battery there. And this is the negative. So we want to disconnect the negative. So it's this bolt that's coming up at an angle here. There you go, 10 millimeter. Just loosen it, you don't need to undo it all the way. And that'll loosen that clamp then. You might have to wiggle it a bit like that. Lift that now. Here's the plastic lid. If you're working on the car, you, you don't want to leave it here and then jump about and it go back and touch the negative terminal. So you want to put something there that stops it moving and connecting on the terminal. So there we go. Now got battery life so you can work on your airbags or anything with more safety.